Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. What is the finance book? Uh, uh, and and do we really uh, billing is maintaining the all the all the ZL, AL, IR revenue, all those things in billing? Answer is not. Right? That's there is the ERP, but in billing we need this finance book what this finance book is again it is basically a, a way of organizing all the transactions based on periods of course all transactions are now going and you know track under the legal entity but you should know right like most it's simply it will give you the more reporting capability in which financial period what was my revenue what was my uh, sales uh, figure what transaction it happened how much uh, I generated invoice or uh, amount wise or and um, how much revenue recognition happened all those things uh, you can track under finance book okay so of course finance book is pretty much required as a uh, 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 as a mandatory field on my treatment but this is more for the reporting purposes okay so under finance book there is a field called finance periods and under this you will have a two value which is revenue finance period or accounting finance period now the question is uh, what is that and when i should uh, select which value right so very uh, i will explain it on the next slide so first of all any revenue recognition transactions are happening so and you want that should be captured or let's say simple simple use case right so when you will go and create here revenue treatment at that time when you go and attach to a financial book their type of the period should be revenue finance period okay very simple way of making things easier so revenue treatments it means the all the revenue transactions will only will be logged under that financial period under that financial book if your type is revenue finance period and accounting will be basically all other transactions other than revenue all other transactions if you see invoice line credit note debit note allocations all payments every single thing will be go under this particular finance book so if i will again move back so these two treatments your tax treatment uh, uh, by the way tax treatment doesn't attach with the financial book right because uh, uh, it's not related to any amount value because that tax is anyways coming to your invoice only so that is why uh, financial books are our periods are not attached to the tax so in this case my billing treatment will be of which type of finance book accounting finance book okay because that billing type or billing rule is going to what it is going to generate the invoice lines okay so <clears throat> Now this is what again it's just the same thing which I just explained that what billing treatment billing treatment billing rules creates a invoice line whereas your uh, revenue treatments go and create a revrex record uh, so what happens actually uh, you know let's go back to the system right before talking about the financial period so here I am and now I will go and create one finance period so finance period uh, first of all the name of course this name is pretty much uh, uh, it's in a financial standard uh, most of the companies are following uh, some way of naming convention standard right physically or let's say 2022 to 2023 or something like that so let's say we will say for an example FY 2020 FY 2022 to 23 something like that again uh, it's it depends now uh, then basically okay sorry my bad I did it in financial period first I have to create finance Wait a sec. first I have to create uh, this is dialed recorder actually right I have to first go and create finance book uh, where is the tab tab is there oh here is the tab okay so first I have to go and create the finance book 
so finance book uh, the first thing of course the name so here i will say the same thing right fy 2022 to 2023 this is my financial book name now here you have a uh, duration so how you want to basically go and you know create your a uh, periods so under finance book you have to basically go and define the periods period is nothing but is a time frame under which you want to track your all accounting transactions and all so let's say some companies are saying that okay i want to create a monthly book okay so monthly book so what uh, what does that mean that it will always starts at the first day of the month and it will go till 30th or 31st or 28th that system will automatically create it will we will see but some companies say no i do not want to do monthly i want i have a, a custom date range based on that i want to define my financial period for this particular year and i want that that is how system should create it or treat like that so uh, i will i will show you uh, you know uh, i will explain you both right so monthly and then here uh, this is the period type we just talked about it so since we are going and attaching it under the billing treatment so i will select this as an accounting now you may say that okay the monthly so do i have to go and create 12 periods right record right because in one year there are basically 12 months and each month because here i am selecting as a monthly definitely i need 12 period 12 uh, records which is nothing but the financial period record so the question is uh, uh, under the related here you have the finance period okay and you can see a new button over here but let's say as an admin i am really asking that do i really need to create 12 records or can system will do something or automate something for me because I am not going with custom right it's a simple uh, if it is monthly it is already predefined rule that it, it will always has to first day of the month and it will go the last day of the month so if you want to follow the same uh, uh, financial period uh, here in the billing you have a button called create finance periods so this way sometimes people call this as a automatic bad job to create finance period or you can say a button whatever you want to say uh, you can you can go and utilize this but remember this is not for the custom custom where i mean see, a system doesn't know the start date and end date right so when you go with this here you have basically it will say that choose the start date of the month as i said uh, it's the first day of the month how many finance periods you want to create so let's say i want to create a financial period for entire year so i will say 12 again it's not mandatory that you always have to go and create 12 and then of course the legal entity so remember if you see here legal entity at what level basically it is attaching it is attaching at the financial period level not at the finance book level right so legal entity is always attaching at the child record level if you notice so once i will do submit what system does system will create 12 financial period for this particular financial book which is now the accounting financial book see here and how created it started from 2022 12th of uh, i mean first of december 12 and followed by 12 months so this is how system created and uh, and in the naming convention how does uh, uh, financial period naming convention is is basically your uh, period uh, month and then followed by your uh, year and then your financial book name and then hyphen legal entity this is again the standard uh, uh, naming convention uh, if you are again using this automated way if you want to override it or you want to change something you can always do that okay so if i will go back now you will see that under this financial book you have 12 financial period record and each financial period type is accounting and from where it is inheriting it is inheriting from here likewise when you go and create it for revenue recognition revenue treatment your period type will be revenue and that is how it will and if you see every 
financial period will now have a legal entity which is uh, coming from that particular interface now what if i yeah, want to do custom so in that case what you have to do custom as i said when you are not following this the 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 period start date in date and all and all then at the header level you will go and select the custom and after that what you have to do you have to go and click manually because system doesn't know now right what what custom what date you want to put so in that case you will go and click here new and then you have to see here this is the place where now system is asking both start date and end date earlier it was just asked the first start date and the number of financial period but in this case it's not it is basically asking you the start date when you want to start for a particular period when you let's say i just want to end it by 15 i mean you can define the time based on the that requirement from the financial team right and of course the name i means name if you see it's auto populated from the bad job or from the automated job but uh, you can go and put your name but and legal entity again uh, each legal entity you can populate different different financial period you can have different different legal entity also for different financial period right you because it may happen for this financial period you have 10 different legal entities that's fine i mean uh, and that is why even you are creating by automation here you have a drop down of uh, legal entity so next time let's say you want to create a financial period for the next legal entity just select that legal entity and do submit right so this way uh, you do not have to create different different finance book for different different legal entity financial book will be for the financial period thanks for watching the video for full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.